Hello, this is Murray Gans, the Scan Electron Microscope Lab Coordinator here at Eastfield College. And once again, I'm on campus looking for little creatures that I can show you with my, with my scopes. So as you can see, I'm uh, right here outside the performance hall. Actually, the stage door entrance is right there. And uh, the creatures I want to show you today are actually not out here. They're actually right down there. I actually discovered these guys yesterday as I was walking to work, uh, these little tiny black ants. Uh, yesterday they had an earthworm here and they were they were working on that. By this morning it's completely gone. So on my way in I, I took my peanut butter and jelly sandwich here and, and chopped off a little piece of it and dropped it uh, out here. And uh, these little black ants have, have really taken off on it. These guys are really small. They're probably a millimeter or two across. So pretty, pretty small guys here. Anyway, so we've got some images of these guys too in, in the lab. thought you might enjoy. Well, now we're back in the lab. We've got our little friend from outside under the dissecting scope, and you can clearly see the uh, three parts of the insect body. You've got the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. You can see we've got six legs here and nice little segmented antenna. Let's take a little bit closer look at, uh, at the head of the ant here. One thing you'll notice is the, uh, the eye. The eye appears to be made out of many parts, which it is. It's called compound eye, not like our eyes, which are simple. Uh, and then the ant has these segmented antenna here, and those are going to be really important because the ant really doesn't doesn't do much with vision, but does a lot with smell. So now let's take a look at the ant with the scanning electron microscope. So here's our first view of the ant. I, I really like this picture. I think it came out really, really well. You see magnification of, of 44x here, and you can see now the compound eye. You can clearly see the little parts that make up that eye, the antenna here, and then I want you to notice that there is a series of holes that run along the side of the body of the ant. Those are called spiracles, and those holes are uh, what the ant uses to breathe. It doesn't have lungs like we have. Instead, it has a series of tubes called trachea that run throughout its body, and air simply diffuses in or out for respiration. This magnification, by the way, is 44 times larger than, than life. Uh, here's a closer view at 70x, and again, you can clearly see that, that, that multi-part compound eye. So now we'll look at some of those spiracles. You can see these little holes right here. Uh, even one back here and a couple on the, uh, actually more than one, a couple on the abdomen here. Now the next picture is very odd. And that's one reason I actually included it because it is so weird. We're actually going to look up underneath the ant like this. We're going to flip him on his back and see what he looks like underneath. Uh, so here's a magnification of 650x. Very bizarre. Looks like a some sort of strange creature with a really large nose. But you can clearly see those, those spiracles here. You can see the little flexible connection that connects the body parts. This is, uh, again, the ant on its back looking at the mouth parts at 110 time magnification. If you're something the ant's going to uh, be attacking or eating, this is not a view you want to see. That's pretty much the last thing that you would see if you were a peanut butter and jelly sandwich shown here at 316 time magnification. So now let's really focus in on those antenna. The antenna are segmented and the end of the antenna is, is enlarged and along this end right here are some, some specialized hairs called chemoreceptors. And those hairs specifically um, give the ant uh, hints about its environment. Uh, this is at 329x. Let's go ahead and zoom in some. This is at 682 times magnification. And you can clearly see some pores here and some different types of hairs that the ant will use. A really nice magnification, 1,710 times bigger than, than uh, real. Um, you can see these, these little pores. So I just want to give you some idea of, uh, again, what's on campus. I've seen these black ants a thousand times. I've just never paid much attention to them until now. Um, and I also want to invite you, uh, if you find yourself on the third floor of the science building, come by C350, take a look at the scopes. Uh, if you have a few minutes, I can actually get you started on the one of the small scopes, and uh, you can have images in about 10 or 15 minutes. So I hope to see you soon.